So we're going to start out in Excel and we're going to build the structure of our CSV file. So let's think about each of these rows as a future field in the note type that we're going to create in Anki. I'm going to write here question stem. For column B, this is where I want the first answer choice to go. And then I'm going to fill in the rest of these with the other answer choices that I want. All right, so for this example, we're going to do four answer choices. You could do a lot more, as many as you need, um, but for this example, we're going to stick with four. Here in column F, this is where I want to put the correct answer option. In column G, this is where I want the answer explanation to go. So I'm going to just type here explanation. And I think that's all I need. So if I were manually making these flashcards, I would just come up with a question here uh, write out the question stem text here. I'd put the different answer choices that I want here, put my correct answer here, and then finish off with an explanation of why the correct answer is correct and why the incorrect answers are incorrect. I am not going to manually create these flashcards. That kind of goes against all that I stand for. So naturally I went to ChatGPT and just had it create a bunch of USMLE style questions using this same column setup that we used in our Excel file. So I'll just copy all of these here real quick and then paste them here. All right, so here I have uh, 10 questions just to use kind of as an example. Now let's go ahead and open up Anki and I'll show you how we can create the multiple choice question note type, which we can use with this Excel file setup. So to create a new note type in Anki, all you have to do is go to your Tools tab here, click on Manage Note Types, and then you can click on Add. And we can just select Basic. We'll call it Basic MCQ and click OK. So now we find our note type that we just created right here. And then click on the Fields button. So this is the interface for editing and adding different fields to your note type. So instead of just front and back, we're going to create fields that match up with our columns that we had here in our Excel document. So the front column can become question stem. We'll change this one to answer A. I'll go ahead and add the rest of the answer fields now. And then we need to add our correct answer. And then lastly, our explanation. Okay, that is all the fields that we need. So we can go to save this. Now that we're done with the fields, let's go to the cards template. So this pulls up our basic MCQ template. So this has the front template, the back template, and the styling information. Right here, we kind of have an example of what the structure of our flashcard is, what it will look like. And so far we can see we only have one field here. This is the question stem field. So this is the only thing, the only information that's gonna show up in our flashcard is the question stem. So we need to change that because we need all of our answer choices also here on the front template. So let's come down here and we will add field. Let's add answer A. Let's add answer B, C, and D. Okay, so this is what it's looking like. This is you know pretty basic, that's great. I'm gonna add a little divider here. You can do that by typing HR between two arrows here. And that creates a nice little divider. So now our question stem is gonna appear up here on top and all of our answer choices will be down here. But like any good multiple choice question, uh, you need to know which answer choice is which, right? So we don't just rely on the first one being A. We want to have an actual letter A to tell us that this is answer choice A. So what we need to do is come all the way over here, just after this little arrow here. And that's where we type the letter. Now our A is going to appear right next to our actual answer choice. We'll do the same for the rest of our answer choices. Now let's move to the back template. So on the back side, we've got our front side. So this just takes everything that's on the front and then puts it right here above this line. So that looks pretty good. Um, we have answer A here. This is 
not the field that we want. We want to change this to our correct answer and come here to add field. There it is. Yep. Correct answer. I capitalized it. So that's going to place our correct answer here. So when we flip the card, we'll be able to see which answer was correct. And then below that, I want the answer explanation. So let's go ahead and add that field here. All right, so now we'll have our correct answer and then the, act, the answer explanation will appear down here. Over here in the styling tab, this is where we could change the look of our flashcard if we wanted it to look, you know, had to have a, a different color or change the text, um, change the font change the font color. Um, we could do all of that here and um, we can also change the alignment. So uh, I don't know, I don't really care that much, but if we come over here, um, we can align everything to the left. That looks, you know, that looks fine. We'll, we'll do that. Okay. So let's hit save here. All right. So back to Excel. Now we have all of our flashcards. We are ready to save this as a CSV file so that we can upload it into Anki. So what we're going to do is come up here to file save as and we're just going to call it mcq demo and then click this little drop down arrow and we need to find csv utf8 comma delimited that's the one we want so let's go ahead and save that all right so let's go back to anki and we'll drag our little file over here all we have to do is drag this into anki and then this opens up our import interface so Make sure that you have your field separator set to comma. If you set it to anything else, really, it's going to not separate your fields correctly. All right, and then down here in our import options, this is where we decide what kind of note type we want. Basic MCQ is the correct note type, so we'll leave that. Deck, let's just go ahead and change this to default. And then I usually leave these unchanged. Scroll down to the field mapping, and then this is where we make sure that our fields match up with our columns like we had in Excel. So this is our field question stem matches up with our question stem column. That's all great. The rest of these look good as well. Then we just uh, go ahead and click import. We have 11 new notes. All right, so we have, we see we have 11 cards here. Um, let's just browse, I wanna show you. It says 11 because this takes the top row from our CSV file. So this is the column headers that we had. We don't need this card. You can just go ahead and delete that. And the rest of these are the cards that we want to study. So let's go ahead and take a look at them. So there we have our question stem with our answer choices. So we can flip it. Here's our correct answer choice. And then the explanation for why that answer choice is correct. And we only made 10 questions, but this would work for any number of questions. You could do a, a thousand at a time if you wanted to. So that is the simple version of how you can bulk create multiple choice questions from Excel into Anki.